Hey everyone, long time no see. Hope you're all doing well. So, I have many excuses <laughs> for not being here. Some good, some relevant, some I guess not. I uh, didn't have a camera for a while, but I still made some videos. But then this computer that I'm playing on, my wife's computer, ended up just completely taking. Who is that? Oh, it's just a grape completely taken a poop and I lost everything the hard drive all that so I had to fix it get a new hard drive which took a bit because I don't have lots of this <laughs> so I had to get that I had to reinstall everything and then I had to replay up to this point then I got sick and then I got a huge gash in my foot that I had to keep up which it has stitches now I don't know if it'd be appropriate to show on YouTube you know I don't know but yeah so but it's good enough to sit and have it down on the floor, and I mean, I guess I could have played with it up, but I just didn't. <laughs> so, but so this might not be exactly the same as where I was before. I don't think I'm as high at level because I kind of tried to speed run through it. But I think I had got to this point, and right now I'm trying to get, which I think I already had it before, but right now I'm trying to get the truth glass. Which I don't know if I have right now. I do, okay. And take it over to that one dude who is like, the truth, something, something, you don't have it. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty close to where I was, as close as I could get. Um, so, let's, let's continue. I believe the truth guy's over here. Okay. And apparently I need, they said that it was an invisible bridge. I don't know if I just want to walk across it. But, watch, they don't have it in the middle. They have it like over to the side over here or something. But I don't want to do that yet. Because they, they, people have said, the NPCs have said that there's an invisible bridge. But then I've also heard about floating boots. And like, do you need floating boots to get across first? And then you can go? Or can you just walk across? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, hello. Yes, I will take that. Give me. But yeah, so, but I am back, I haven't even been streaming, like I did not feel well, my foot was hurting, I just, yeah, so, but I'm trying to get back into that and do what I should be responsible again. <laughs> Let's see, I think I've already been, actually I don't know if I have. Let's see, you guys don't make as much noise as I remember. That's one thing I've noticed about this, is sometimes there's like too many sound, like maybe I don't have the sound profile set right and I can edit it or something. Give me your monies. But it seems like sound doesn't always do what it should. Any secret secrets? Let's see. Oh, no, there is. Ah, okay, this is where I would, I don't know, oh, it's sealed. Okay. those lips like I shouldn't have lips like that <laughs> sorry tree <laughs> give me you sure I'll take that and sell it truth dude I have a mirror that shows what you speak of only if you're super close and pointing it at something taking up learning how to 3D model. I was like, you know what, I'm stuck at home. I, you know, I've been trying to learn how to YouTube and Twitch stream and stuff. And then I was like, you know what, I would love to be able to 3D model and make my own mods and stuff. I think I got the actual modding, modeling aspect down pretty well. I did, I watched a couple tutorials. I posted an example of something that I modeled. I made a muffler sword. 
uh, based off actually the Dark Slayer from the Kingsfield series, but like a, a, a new version. I don't know. I didn't spend as much time with my first project. The hand, oh, the blade was good. The handle was good. The pommel was good, but the hilt was the first thing I made for the sword because it's just a very iconic shape. And I did that so wrong. Like it was so bad. I had to actually go through. I, I, maybe you know about modeling, maybe you don't, but basically I had to go through the whole thing again because when I created it, I would do something on one side and it would mirror on the other side because a sword is basically symmetrical. So instead of doing it over here and over here, I would just do it here and it would automatically copy. But I somehow messed up to where they weren't connected. So it was, it, instead of being one whole piece, it was like a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, a piece here. And then I had to manually go and connect them all together to make one model so there wasn't like this invisible line through them. But then that didn't work. Oh, I spent, that, that hill was so messed up. <laughs> but I finally got it. I'm not very good at texturing. I'll have to learn how to do that a little bit, but I can model some things. I, like, I, I could make a model for Sword of Moonlight. Like I'm good enough to where I haven't, I haven't tried people, but I could make like a barrel or a cup or a sword or a shield, you know, something like that, something simpler, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I'm, I was super excited about that. I actually want to make, I want to try making a mod for Dark Souls, bringing the Dark Slayer from this series to that series because it's the Dark Slayer's only been in these games. I mean, only in the, the first Kingsfield, the second Kingsfield. I don't think it ever shows up in the third. Like it's in those two games, and that's it. And I was like, you know what, maybe I could try making this. And then if that works, and I learned how to do that well, I could try the Excel Excelator? I never, know how, never knew how to say that right, but that one. It's only in the third one. But it's still very iconic, I think, for the series. Not like the Moon Sword, or the, the uh, Moonlight Sword, but you know, still. Alright, for a long time I spent every day searching for the truth. All things are powerless before truth, even magic items, too many magic artifacts and trivial things. <laughs> okay, should I just scan you with it? Too bad I can't just scan out. Uh, no, right here. Uh, did I just give it to him? I am not interested in exterminating the monsters or the uh, bounty money. I have no want to. I have no want to. I have no want to help you, but I will teach you water magic in exchange for a mirror of truth. Sure. I mean, you didn't really give me an option. You just kind of took it. Like, there you go. There was no yes or no. So. <laughs> Alright, well, do you have anything else to say, Mr. Mr. Hand on Hip and Nod? There are golems on the fourth floor that appear to be controlled by dark magic. Perhaps the dark magician is somehow doing it. Will he teach me dark magic in exchange for a candle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I already gave you it. Stop asking. There is... More than one magical mirror of truth. If you find another, you should try using it within its reflection or bits of truth about everything. Hmm. <laughs> I've already taught you the element of water, but eventually other attributes will come to you naturally. You just, yes, they will. <laughs> That's just what he just stands there all day. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, dude. Let's see, magic. I don't have any magic. I don't have one. Oh, I bet it was a uh, support magic. Yes. Like I could, t I could easily make that as a model. It's one of the easiest models. This game doesn't have very complex models. That'd be a little bit harder than that one, but not that much. Also, a very easy model. I could actually. Okay, Dark Slayer is a little hard. I, I know you didn't show up here to listen to me talk about, you know. 3D modeling and stuff. But I found the Dark Slayer to be quite difficult because it's not a metal weapon. It's made out of crystal. Um, and the, I mean, the model from... Any model from Kingsfield 1 and 2, there is no shine. Even here... Nope, oh, nope. Even here, the shine is like... I think baked into the actual model. There's shadows, but no actual shining. Like, you look at this, and it's you can tell it's metal, the way the shadows, but like it's not glistening. Um, the Dark Slayer is is crystal, so it's not supposed to glisten the same as metal. And I found out doing metal is actually way easier texture-wise than it is crystal, because it's like crystal. I would I would feel need would need a little bit of transparency. 
I, 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 if you wanted to check it out in my uh, Twitter, you're more than welcome to and see me think. I think the model turned out decent. Not exactly how I wanted. If I was gonna, if I was gonna add it to a mod, I would redo the hilt just to make it a little bit better. But overall, I think it turned out pretty good. I just like to be able to make like the sword I'm using right now. This uh, this bastard sword, super easy to make it. It'd be nice to upgrade it. I mean, the the blade is metal, the hilt and the pommel are metal, the handles are cloth. Like that would all be really easy. And it's not like it's super detailed. If you look at it, like the handle, or the, the handle has a little bit of detail on the top and the bottom. The pommel and the hilt are just shaped and basically kind of like a, I wouldn't say gold, but a, not a bronze. I don't know, just but almost this this color. <laughs> but this would all be very very easy to make, and and the, the heart. I, I'm having a hard time learning how to put a mod in. I probably should try to do a mod for like Elder Scrolls first. And then, you know, learn how to actually put a model I make into a game. Which I might end up doing that because that would be cool. But Dark Souls, especially I'm working on Dark Souls 3 right now. And it does not seem to be a very easy process. So I'm trying to have to learn to that. To do that as also... Right, I'm trying to learn to put a model in Dark Souls 3 while also learning how to make a good model. But I think Dark Slayer might have been a bit more difficult because... It's not as simple as just making the model and then giving it a, a metal color with a sheen and with some like bump, ma bump, bump mapping textures. That ended up being really easy to do. Like I could make a sword that's actual metal. Like I can, I can make a sword that looks realistic by today's standards, just being a you know metal regular sword. But with the Dark Slayer, the whole thing's made of crystal. And then it has the white, black, and red. So basically, a white. It's a white blade with a little bit of black, but I'm not sure if they were trying to make that the, the shadow in those games or not. I'd look at it a bit more and see. And then you have the hilt, the hilt who is red, black, and white, and the handle. And I put a little like new spin on it, kind of how they did with the Moonlight Sword and the new like Dark Souls games and stuff. I don't need to go this way, do I? But it's just, I, I'm trying to find a way to make it those colors while also being crystal-esque. It just ended up being way harder. So maybe I'll do something simple like just a nice looking metal sword and then learn to put that in. Because like making the model and making it metal was super easy for me. Texturing though, like trying to figure out a good texture for the, the Dark Slayer, getting the colors right, and then also making it to where it would fit in like the Dark Souls S game. Because like if you look at it in Kingsfield 1, and two, it's almost like, let me leave this area, I don't need to be here anymore. It's almost like a sci-fi weapon, like you might see it in Fantasy Star or something. Like, it's very, it does not, it does not look like a sword. It looks like, it'll be a, like a regular Dark Souls weapon. It looks like something that's way too fancy, which is kind of why they, they've changed the Moonlight Sword over the, over the, uh, the period of games, which some of them I like, some of them I don't. I always think it should have a pretty... It should still be the Moonlight Sword, I think. But the course like toned in di different ways and stuff. I really like the, I'm playing, I'm playing Cinders actually on Dark Souls 3. I play it on Twitch. It's over here, have I gone over here? Let me look at the map. I play it on Twitch and I love the single, the, the actually like, it's, it's more representative of what the Moonlight Sword is. It's not necessarily a great sword. It became a great sword, but in Kingsfield 1, 2, and 3, I, mean, I guess this is one. I haven't got it once. I know how it looks like. Or even if it's in the first one. It'd be weird if it wasn't. It'd be crazy if it started off in Kingsfield 2. But, anyways, it has a very iconic look that still looks a little sci fi, but it was toned down and worked well for the Dark Souls games. And I want to do that. Let's see. Yeah, I've already been that way. I'm. Yeah, those are where that old piece, the tomb key, and going. Yeah, I've been through there. Let's see. I've been down in that tunnel. I believe I've been to the left in those tunnels already. I might not have. Let's take a look and see. Because I might not have been in those tunnels. But yeah, trying to make it like an updated version. No, I haven't been over here. This is a dungeon. Okay. I don't think I have the dungeon key. 
Let's see. Oh, no, I do. Okay, new area. I haven't been over here yet. And isn't there supposed to be a guard? Let me see. Harvin Horst. Where are you, Horst? And can you talk? Or is it lots of... <laughs> no, it's Horst. Okay. But yeah, trying to make it like an updated version that doesn't look as sci-fi but still holds to its original form decently well and trying to get a texture that's proper that matches because it's not just a metal sword in fact pretty much none of it's metal Ow. that's just been very difficult for me and i don't know if i'll ever be good enough to actually do like I, I haven't learned anything about animation like i don't even know if i can make that tree I mean, maybe I could make the actual model, but then having it move and stuff, would I, that's beyond me at the moment. Okay, we're going to do left wall strats. That may something I'm going to try to. I'm going to forget and not do it, but <laughs> that's my purpose. Got anything for me? You seem to be dead. <laughs> I could have said that. All right, any secret secrets? But yeah, it is. It's, I don't, and I don't know how to do, like, details. Like, do I have one here? Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Like, that'd be easy, that'd be easy, easy, easy. I'll go back out. Uh, easy. Okay, you see how the top of the glove and, like, the top of the hand, the part of your hand, like, here and then here? How there's, I do not know that number. How there's, like, some almost, like, gold detail, like, engraving almost? I don't know how to do textures like that, and I'm not a very good artist. Um, at least, uh, I don't think so. But I just, I don't know how to do those kind of details and put it on a 3D model. Like, for example, the textures I do, which would make a, a metal sword really easy, is it's basically just, you have the color, you have the right sheen and shine, which are all built into the system I'm using in Blender. Actually, I didn't finish looking for secrets on there. That phone number distracted me. And then you add, like, metal scratches. Or, you know, marring or leather, you just kind of build the lines and then, you know, it's, it's really simple. Whereas having something like that is an actual texture you need to make. And I could try and learn. I have an idea. I saw a tutorial where someone ended up putting, like, fake ruins, like, not actual language, but, like, ruins on a blade. And it looked pretty simple. They had like a stencil in the program, and they'd put the, the paint over it, and it would only cover where the stencil was. So it seemed pretty easy. So I could probably make a like a stencil. If I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm not that good, but I could try to make a stencil, and then like like for analogy, spray paint that on. But I haven't haven't tried that yet. And I mean, Dark Chris, the Dark Slayer doesn't really have any details like that. It's just a lot of different colors and it's very triangular so it's not it wouldn't be hard to mix the colors and triangular shapes and stuff to make it the model is not that hard to do it's the getting the right look because if i just made it like it was in kingsfield one and two it would be very solid colors i just it wouldn't fit in a game like dark souls i don't think unless i wanted to just make one that was totally I don't want, I want to make one that fits in, that you'd expect to find, like something you'd be like, oh yeah, this is totally fitting in with this motif. This is darker, more dirty motif, I would say. Oh, nope, left wall strats. And that, that ended up being very difficult for me. I, I you know, I, I found some free, oh, what's this? I found some free textures as a person. I found some free textures and I put those in. Okay, you're going to attack me. And it ended up looking okay, like it wasn't bad, I just, it's just not what I wanted, not at all. So maybe I'll try making something simple, like, mm, let's see, what weapon would I want, maybe it's like this bastard sword or something, just to see, you know, get that to how I'd want it, and then put it in like but like even so like for example in dark souls one two and three there's not a lot of very shiny objects the swords and weapons and armor in, in most cases aren't super shiny some of the armor can be but a lot of the weapons i've seen aren't very shiny like they don't have a shiny metal glint to them but I, I, another thing too i'm talking a lot about 3d modeling i'm sorry i hope it's not too boring <laughs> but 
I, I don't know, like, like I, I build a model, but then trying, it's not as simple from what I understand as just like, you build the model and put it into the game, because each game, their engine has requirements on what will fit and how many, like, uh, pixels, if you know what pixels. I would, I would think you know, people know what pixels are for the most part, but how many, how much detail the weapon has, how many pixels it has, uh, polygons, which you might not know, but still, like, there's a limit on what the game can handle. You can't just put in a, a you just can't make a model, say, oh, that looks good, and then put it in expecting to be the right size that fit the game and not be too much for the engine, that kind of stuff. And that I haven't learned anything about. I've just basically made a model. So I have no idea, like, if I took the model that I made right now and tried to put it in the game, I'd have no idea if it would work, I'd have no idea if it would, the engine could handle it properly, if it'd be the right size, if it'd be like super tiny or huge in your hand, like I have no idea. And that's something I still have to learn, which is why I haven't put anything into a game yet. And that's also why I'm thinking of making maybe my first mod being for like Skyrim or something, where a shiny weapon would be more fitting. And I don't know, you look like some kind of crafter hiding a treasure chest. You're like a fairy. Interesting. Never, I don't think I've ever seen a fairy like that before in Kingsfield. But yeah, so maybe I'll do Skyrim where it's built It's built to be modded, basically. Learn how to do that kind of stuff, and then maybe go to Dark Souls. I don't know. Hello? What, what's your name? What do you have to say? I have been waiting for you. In the deep darkness, the king becomes more and more powerful. Our strength will not hold him for long. Please come to us. Um, I am not. Um. Okay. <laughs> What's in here? What gift are you saving for me? Dragon wand. Dragon wand. Alright, well that dude that has saved, I believe he tells me what things are when I talk to him the first time. And I'm gonna ask him, what the heck? Uh, is that like the, uh, the fire rod from... Kingsfield, I guess, technically three, where it, like, shoots a fireball when you swing it. Oh, no, it's not even a weapon. Okay. Uh, accessory? Nope, I have no accessories. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Don't I have... Um, I thought I had something here that showed me things. Maybe not. Just the weapon part. Dragon crystal. I mean, I could use it and see what it does, but what if it's like a one-time use and I waste it not knowing what it does? Interesting. I'll take it to that person and see what he says. Any secrets? So yeah, that's my modding. That's my modding story. <laughs> Trying to learn how to do that. But I think the, I think the first model I made turned out it was fun. It took me. I mean, it's my first time making a model, and the hilt just caused so many problems. It took me. I want to say a little less than. A lot of time, the first two days, and I didn't really do so. Basically, two days to make it, but I think it turned out decent. I like them. Ooh, I totally missed this stuff. I totally like the model more than I do the texture job. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to learn to do and have fun with. You know, see if I can make something. That, oh, it's a safe spot here. See if I can make something that actually goes into a game, make my own like I don't know, mark on the game, so to speak. I thought it'd be cool. Uh, let's do this one. are touching each other. <laughs> so this room could crumble at any moment. Hey, you. Oh, you're stuck. You can't follow me. Aha. Give me your two gold. Nine. Okay. Maybe I'll try to make. I don't know. I'm still not. Oh, hey, you're sneaking up on me. I'm still not happy with the dark crystal. Like I would not want to make that a mod. How I've made it so far. Ow, wrong button. But making like the bastard sword. Or... Wow, where are all the you coming from? Oh, why did I not attack? Come on. There we go. And then maybe. 
maybe start off learning some textures, like how to do some stencils, like something simple, like take the bastard sword, maybe give it a uh, little bit bigger of a handle, not too much bigger though, like just take what's there and enlarge it a bit, and then maybe I'll make a, try to make a stencil of, of, a, of a texture I want to do, of maybe uh, I don't actually, if you look at my YouTube page, maybe I'll just, I mean, my YouTube, like at the end, the end card, the weapons I have on, maybe be taking one of those, making it, because they're basically metal weapons, they're not like made out of crystal or anything. Although there is crystals in them, which that would be interesting, you know, trying to do this metal sword and then try to do a small bit of crystal, like a gem or something, and see what I think. Maybe try to see if I could add transparency and stuff. Maybe I'll just try to make it, I'll try making one of those weapons, make the model, color it, get it to how I like it, and then maybe put that into Skyrim. Um, I used to, I, I messed around with Skyrim's engine before, the modeling aspect, the construction kit, and I did learn how to, like, make, using the models that are already there, you know, get a model, change its stats or name it or whatever, and then place it somewhere in the world. I learned how to do that much. So maybe I'll do that with my weapon. I'll make it, give it the, uh, stats and stuff that I'd wanted to have. Although I was doing the construction kit for uh, Oblivion and Morrowind. It's a little different, I'm guessing. What is that? All the dragon crystals flipped. Interesting. But maybe I'll do that. I'll put what I have in my end card, make a mod for Skyrim, and then if that turns out well, and I'm happy with that, you know, I've had some, I'll have a little bit of crystal experience, a little bit of texture experience from it. Without being too crazy detailed, and then go from there. I like that idea. Thanks for thanks for talking it out with me. I appreciate it. I, I'm kind of lost. Let's go this way. I should probably heal up a little bit. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it's, it's easier, and I think I, I haven't made a model before for anything. But the game is basically built with a modding kit to be able to do that kind of stuff. So I should be able to do it a lot easier than I could Dark Souls. That way I just learn on improving my modeling and not having to also do a lot of work to learn how to just get in the game. But it was really cool learning. I, I thought it'd be... I think I've looked into it before, like I downloaded a 3D modeler thing before, but I didn't do a tutorial, so it was like super overwhelming, and I was like, what do I do with this? I don't know how to do anything, and then I just didn't do anything. <laughs> but this time I was like, you know what, I'm going to look up some... Oh, there we go. No, I didn't click on it. I'm going to look up some tutorials, watch people make it, see how to actually use the program. What have I been in here yet? I need to stop talking about modeling. I'm totally getting lost and not paying attention to the game. I'm just, I'm excited about it. Oh, there's a, apparently a herb there. I don't see any secrets though. Okay. Let's use the map. So, I don't think I've gone all the way left yet. Let's go, oh no, let's go that way. So I'll make a left out of here and just kind of continue. I should turn the fan on, it's even warm in here. I guess I don't need my other shirt on. Hello. Sealed. Come on now. Also sealed. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. I see how it is from soft. Trying to surround me with these guys. They were interesting. They remind me a lot of the uh, snow, I, uh, I forget what they're called, but the snow creatures that you fight in uh, the Nintendo 64 is Shadow of the Empire. Let's get a vibe from them. Alright, this guy shouldn't be too bad. I should look behind me and see if there's something behind me. There we go, one. Ooh, wait, I came in here, can I get back out? I don't know if I can just open it up again all easy, can I? Mm, interesting. I'm gonna be stuck in here for a second. Hopefully it's not like Kingsfield 1 in America, King, or Kingsfield 1 in America, but actually Kingsfield 2 where like I'm stuck in here and I don't have like a transporting crystal or something. I mean technically I do, I have some dragon crystals so I can try to kill myself. I need to get out of here so that's not too bad. Give me your monies. Give me your monies. Uh, what are 
Then we're not wombas. Maybe they are wombas. I don't remember. I, I, it's not coming to me right now. But yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking. About. No tree. You don't get to. Oh, hello! Just sneaking up on me from nowhere. I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. eyes and then two and a nostrils, two nostrils. And it looks like a mustache. <laughs> Ow. Hey, I was admiring your mustache. That's rude. Mustache to mustache. I was my admiring that. You punch me. See how it is. You didn't appreciate my mustache. Oh, no. There we go. on track. Start it again. Probably, I doubt there's secrets in here because I think this is just a square. Seems to be dead. <laughs> definitely. Definitely seems to be dead. There should just be bones. <laughs> also seems to be dead. Definitely more than seems. It is. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically in Kingsfield, the skeletons come back to life. I mean, if you could call it life. So, knowing for sure that it's actually dead and not coming back, I guess, is a good thing. Oh, hello. It's just Winding up for me right there. You can you can't really juke them in this game. Like you can definitely turn around them, but they have a set time when they just turn to face you. Yeah. Like there's not really juking in this game, which I guess that makes sense as to why they made it to where the hits interrupt. Because if their hits didn't interrupt, it'd be much harder, which still might be possible and fun. But who knows? I'm totally not in sync with the song at all. What's over here? A lantern. Oh, I'm gonna try to stick with the left wall so I don't lose it. This looks like it's going somewhere. Oh, I'm totally not even on the map. <laughs> okay. Let's look like it's a way to leave the dungeon. Almost. Sealed. There's a button there. Oh, okay. I think I know where this is. Oh, yes. Okay, I know where this is. I know. I don't want to go that way yet, but it's a way to get out, which is good. I don't need to die and can use the crystal. So that is good. What's over here? What even is this? Is that a broken? Oh, it's a broken shovel and a lantern. It's all that really. That's all that's over here. It's just a broken shovel and a lantern. That's disappointing. Ah, hello. Hello, cave. What do you have for me? No. 
Yeah, see this right here? This is the texture that's different from what I'm talking about with the, the metal swords. The metal sword, the scratches are something that's just, it, you, it looks like an actual scratch. Whereas this is supposed to look like bricks. So it's a little different than what I'm, I'm and they're also like shaded differently. Like that one's a lot darker than that one and so forth. Like making that, like the outlines, like the outline of the actual bricks you can make and then it'll all be basically one color. I haven't learned how to make it different colors unless every ob object is more of a model within itself and like trying to do that with the model in itself would not only be very uh, graphically intense but uh, something that would take forever oh a chest good any monsters no oh, it's a room interesting it's a locked it is locked um, is this where the dungeon guard lives or it's a dungeon no Okay. Interesting. Sure. The <laughs> Life family loves their herbal liquids. There we go. It's a very fine liquid. Uh, it's a bed and a table. Anything else? Or just lots of herbal liquids? Like who? Like, does the merchant live here sometimes and just come back and forth? Or like, oh no, here you go. That's the person that lived here. And they, they definitely seem to be dead. So I would assume that's the person who lived here. I don't see any secrets. I need to find a saving spot. Especially when my microphone's beeped at me like six times, so I know it's getting close. Let's find a safe spot. Actually, let's go back to that one dude. Ask him about this dragon wand. And then save there. What was that word? I was thinking moolah. Come on, hit up moolah and money and put it together. And I was like, mule. <laughs> mule, 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 mule. <laughs> nope, so that's not the way I'm going to be going. I just found an exit this way. Like, how am I missing it now? But yeah, if you play Skyrim, and like I make it, and I'm actually happy with it, I'll post it on Nexus Mods or something, and if you guys and gals want to end up downloading and using it, if you like it, go for it. I think that'd be really cool if it's good enough. And I know some people like make it to where you have to use the cheat like to actually get it to spawn in and stuff. I find that really not only boring, but just, in my opinion, lazy. Like, if I'm gonna make a mod, I actually want to make it decent enough to where it actually is in the game, and you have to go and grab it. Like, that's just more fun, I think. There we go. So I'll put it, like, in the game somewhere. I'll tell you, like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be like, it's here in a bucket, or if I want to be like, it's located somewhere in this castle, or located somewhere in, you know, wherever. Like, a little more interesting than just, hey, it's here in a bucket. Which I mean, that'd be easier. But I'd want to make it a little more interesting. Like maybe, maybe you, if you go to this inn, you can find. I'll make a book, and you can find a book that gives you hints on it, and then you can find find it. Like make it more interesting, not just like, hey. I mean, if this is gonna be like one of the swords that I've made on my YouTube channel, and it's like my sword. I wanna, I wanna have it interesting, not just as in a bucket. <laughs> ha! You're not gonna be darkening me, sir. Actually, why am I even messing with you? Hey, mummy. Sorry, I'm late. Did you leave food out for me? Alright, so. The save. Aha! Here we go. Alright, dude, tell me about this dragon wand. Mr. Guard, that knows a lot. I saw the poet who was traveling with troops across where that... No. I saw the poet that was traveling with the troop across where there is no bridge. How did he do that? So maybe they didn't all have floating boots. Maybe that's, maybe that's meant for something else. I mean, I guess they could have all had floating boots. That seems less likely. Uh, tell me about... No, I don't want to learn anything about any of this. 
I want to learn about this. The wand of the dragon will take its carrier to the entrance of the dungeon. The wand of the dragon will take its carrier to the entrance of the dungeon when it's... Ooh, so it's kind of like a... Ah, uh, in Legend of Zelda Link to the Past when you use that, uh... Wasn't it the magic mirror or something? And it would take you back to the beginning of the dungeon? It sounds something like that, maybe? Interesting. That is cool to know. I like it. And I like how I, I own... I mean, that, maybe that's the merchant, because the likeliness of me owning just flat 2,000 is very unlikely. I own... Oh, no, I, I literally... I have 2,000. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save it here. It was great being back, streaming, and having fun with you all again. Yeah, it took me two hours and 23 minutes to get everything back to where it was. And, yeah, I just... Not as enjoyable. Okay. So, anyways, thanks for coming out and watching this part of Kingsfield Sword of Moonlight, the first one. I guess part four is technically what it is. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for listening to all my rambling about 3D modeling and me learning to do that and stuff. And I'll keep posting when I make something for Skyrim if you want to do it. And then if I'm ever good enough to make something that I'm happy with for Dark Souls, I'll let you know about that too if you want. So, anyways, thanks for coming to watch my video. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all in the next video, which will be Thursday because I'm getting back on track. Okay, <laughs> take care. Bye.